Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for October 27th, read by Cindy L. from Fort Worth, Texas. AA Thoughts for the Day Humility Moved by the spirit of anonymity, we tried to give up our natural desires for personal distinction as AA members, both among fellow alcoholics and before the general public. As we lay aside these very human aspirations, we believe that each of us takes part in the weaving of a protective mantle which covers our whole society and under which we may grow and work in unity. We are sure that humility, expressed by anonymity, is the greatest safeguard Alcoholics Anonymous can ever have. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 187. Thought to Consider Humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. Acronyms RID Restless, Irritable, and Discontented Just for Today Grave Nature From Forward to the Second Edition The spark that was to flare into the first AA group was struck at Akron, Ohio in June 1935 during a talk between a New York stockbroker and an Akron physician. Six months earlier, the broker had been relieved of his drink obsession by a sudden spiritual experience following a meeting with an alcoholic friend who had been in contact with the Oxford groups of that day. He had also been greatly helped by the late Dr. William D. Silkworth a New York specialist in alcoholism who is now accounted no less than a medical saint by AA members and whose story of the early days of our society appears in the next pages. From this doctor, the broker had learned the grave nature of alcoholism. Though he could not accept all the tenets of the Oxford groups, he was convinced of the need for moral inventory, confession of personality defects, restitution to those harmed, helpfulness to others, and the necessity of belief in and dependence upon God. Alcoholics Anonymous, pages X5 through XVI. Daily Reflections Global Sharing The only thing that matters is that he is an alcoholic who has found a key to sobriety. These legacies of suffering and of recovery are easily passed among alcoholics, one to the other. This is our gift from God, and its bestowal upon others like us is the one aim that today animates AAs all around the globe. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 151. The strength of Alcoholics Anonymous lies in the desire of each member and of each group around the world to share with other alcoholics their suffering and the steps taken to gain and maintain recovery. By keeping a conscious contact with my higher power, I make sure that I always nurture my desire to help other alcoholics thus ensuring the continuity of the wonderful fraternity of Alcoholics Anonymous. As Bill sees it, people of faith, we who have traveled a path through agnosticism or atheism beg you to lay aside prejudice, even against organized religion. We have learned that whatever the human frailties of various faiths may be, those faiths have given purpose and directions to millions. People of faith have a rational idea of what life is all about. Actually, we used to have no reasonable conception whatever. We used to amuse ourselves by cynically dissecting spiritual beliefs and practices when we might have seen that many spiritually minded persons of all races, colors, and creeds were demonstrating a degree of stability, happiness, and usefulness that we should have sought for ourselves. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 49. Big Book Quote When we became alcoholics, crushed by a self-imposed crisis we could not postpone or evade, we had to fearlessly face the proposition that either God is everything or else he is nothing. God either is or he isn't. Alcoholics Anonymous, We Agnostics, page 53. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. Seventh, I can help other alcoholics. I am of some use in the world. I have a purpose in life. I am worth something at last. My life has a direction and a meaning. All of that feeling of futility is gone. I can do something worthwhile. 
God has given me a new lease on life so that I can help other alcoholics. He has let me live through all the hazards of my alcoholic life to bring me at last to a place of real usefulness in the world. He has let me live for this. This is my opportunity and my destiny. Will I give as much of my life as I can to AA? Meditation for the day. All of us have our own battle to win. The battle between the material view of life and the spiritual view. Something must guide our lives. Will it be wealth, pride, selfishness, and greed? Or will it be faith, honesty, purity, unselfishness, love, and service? Each one has a choice. We can choose good or evil. We cannot choose both. Are we going to keep striving until we win the battle? If we win the victory, we can believe that even God in heaven will rejoice. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may choose the good and resist the evil. I pray that I will not be a loser in the battle for righteousness. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I am Cindy, and I am an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.